If you're just joining us, I've been trying to find, uh, locate the uh, war on Mayor Carlisle's war on poor caravan, and uh, it has just arrived at uh, Thomas Square, which is uh, part of the Occupy, Deoccupy Honolulu has an encampment there. There are also uh, uh, a number of other houseless people that stay there that have endured many raids and their private property. And as I was driving past, I just noticed uh, the forces arrived with the truck, so we'll get to see uh, what one of these things looks like in the very beginning. Last night, the tents were rotated out. Red tents were tagged, as you can see. New tags here. Here's the uh, information booth. You can see the uh, horses arriving. You see uh, trucks dump trucks for the trash how oh, they trash everything this is the third raid in three days I'm gonna wear this on my uh, belt so I can live stream so hope this stays on it did yesterday huh? I called uh, West <laughs> injustice alert Injustice alert! An injustice is occurring in this park. Injustice alert! Injustice alert! Mayor Carlisle's war on the poor has arrived at Thomas Square. The war on the poor. The war on the peaceful. The war on protesters. Alert! Injustice alert! They've arrived in the park. Led by Wes Chun, Director of the Department of Facilities Maintenance. A cabinet position under Mayor Carlisle. A general in the war against the poor. In his war against the peaceful. Alert! Alert! Injustice occurring in the park. I've got the uh, camera and I'm going to take pictures. I'm live streaming, so you know, everything's a little bit get people as they come. You can see the truck here in the back. Crane. Hey, I don't want to get you guys. I want to get Wes. Thank you. You know what I mean? Right we don't like get you guys either. Yeah, I know. Thank you know, you. guys got to be a job, but I don't think you should follow these other guys around. Yeah. The last time yeah. you came out of place, yeah? Yep. We were talking, eh? Yep. You know that guy? The one in the black cat? Talk uh, to him. Yeah. I'm no swear, ah. You know, no, cause we're not we're not doing anything. But no, no, play the game with us. Just don't swear us. He's a swearer. I can't. You know. Okay. So then, so I don't wanna. I know how you feel, but you oh, know what? He, 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 you know, it's not cool. You know what I mean? Just tell him no, no you don't, swear You us. don't. You don't hear it from me, right? Yeah, because you you understand. Yeah. But that guy, no swear us. I, you know, I'll mention it. I'll, no, I'll mention it. Yeah. You see all this. He's here. He's here, nice temple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm trying to find out who this guy is. Injustice alert! Injustice is occurring in the park. Mayor Carlisle's war on the poor. Mayor Carlisle's War on the peaceful. No crimes are being committed here, except by the police 
who violate the law of the splintered paddle. I urge everyone to look it up. You can Google it. Law of the splintered paddle. It's incorporated into the Constitution of Hawaii. It protects all people lying by the side of the road. Injustice alert. Injustice alert. We protest injustice occurring in the park. The raid is being led by West Chun, director. In Mayor Carlisle, war on the poor and war on the peaceful. No laws are being violated here except by the police and by the Department of Facilities Maintenance. Injustice alert! Injustice alert! at work, treating the poor like criminals, harassing the peaceful with armed force. Thank you. Outside the line. Thank you. Injustice alert! City workers, tell your supervisors that you don't want to violate the law of the splintered paddle. We demand the police enforce the law. Enforce the law of the splintered paddle, protecting those lying by the side of the road. We demand the police enforce the protections of the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution and reiterate it in the Hawaii Constitution the protections against unreasonable search and seizure. There are no laws being broken here except by the police and by the city and county of Honolulu under Mayor Carlisle and his war against the poor, against, in his war against the peaceful, in his war against peaceful protesters. He sends armed people. Injustice alert! Injustice alert! As long as Hawaii, as long as the government, as long as Mayor Carlisle claims to be part of the U.S., he must uphold the U.S. Constitution and the Constitution of the State of Hawaii, which protects those lying by the side of the road, which protects the right of free speech, which re re requires that people be protected from unreasonable search and seizure. This is the third raid in three days. Your tax dollars at work. Being led by the department that fixes potholes. They do this because all the potholes on the roads in Hawaii and Honolulu are repaired apparently. Apparently not. The area is uh, taped off. I'm going to get this danger tape here. Let's see, I'm going to get a view of the, this dump truck here. You can say stuff in here. Hey, I don't see Wes. You see Wes? Nah, I think Wes is on the game. I thought they were supposed to hold all this stuff. Hey, they don't hold it. You see that truck? Everything that goes in there is garbage. It gets thrown out.
Injustice alert. This is part of Mayor Carlisle's war on the poor. Use the rich to take from the poor. Trash everything they have. Protest. Call Mayor Carlisle. City workers, tell your supervisor you don't want to violate the law anymore. You refuse to violate. The law of the splintered paddle, the Kanavai Mamalahoy. Or make West Chan do it himself. Tell West Chan to get his hands dirty and do it himself. West Chan is a cabinet position. He makes $112,000 a year. He lives on 52,000 square feet of property in New Wano on stolen Hawaiian land. You are taking untagged material. They're taking a. Uh... They're throwing away articles that were not tagged. They are stealing. The rich stealing from the poor. Injustice alert. Injustice alert. No laws are being violated here except by the police. And the, and the city, they're stealing. Use the rich to steal from the poor. Injustice alert. I hope you can see the streaming. I've got it on a belt clip, so not, probably not at the best angle. What we got here is uh, City Cruise under the direction of West Chun and Trish Morikawa of Office and Housing. Third raid here in three days. Um, when stuff is tagged, what we what the occupier Honolulu does is rotate them out into private property so that it can be seen. Now you see the Trish Morikawa, who's uh, Office of Housing. Actually, it's not doing anything about housing. Trish Morikawa is in fact in charge of seizing property and of causing creating homelessness. Injustice alert, Mayor Carlisle's war on the poor and war on the peaceful continues here at Thomas Square. There are no laws being violated here except by the police who help the city steal from the poor. It's the rich stealing against stealing the poor. Stealing property, violating the law of the splintered paddle, violating the First Amendment rights and Fourth Amendment guarantees to unlawful search and seizure. Back up a ways, you can probably see uh... Oh, this is a state park, right? You know, it's a state park, but there's some kind of weird yeah, use it agreement. Is. Yeah, it's a state park.
property had value, you can't just destroy it. It wasn't even tagged. The ordinance requires tagging of property. The ordinance requires storage of property so that the property can be reclaimed. You will notice the dump trucks. They are trashing all the possessions. They are not tagging it. They are taking untagged material and they are putting it in a dump truck for disposal. This is theft. This is injustice. The area is cordoned off as though it were a crime scene. And the crime being committed is by the police and by the city under the direction of Mayor Carlisle and West Chud. This is day 200 of continuous encampment by the Occupy Honolulu, the longest running Occupy encampment in the entire Occupy movement worldwide. What can stop people that have an idea? 20 raids, or is it 21? 21. 21 raids, 200 days. Third one in, in uh... Yesterday was 20, right? Huh? Yesterday was 20. Kids were at 8, so it was 19 right. 20. Yeah, 21. I think so. Yeah. 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 The, first, the, the first one was 19 and 20. 20. Right. It's the third one in three. <laughs> I don't see wet. You see? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of stuff. I don't have my glasses. No, no, no. They, they threw out some of our chairs, though, and crushed them. I feel like they grabbed a white chair. They crushed them. Yeah. I'm gonna see if this is going to allow you to pretend to store things in. Right. Yeah, they just crushed them. Not only when you get jammed, but... Yeah, I'm, I got uh, my belt clip on. It's continuing to live stream. Uh, they're going to keep that. You're going to take it home. Why not? Uh, I have to apologize for the uh, shaky uh, footage, but I have the, my live streamer on my belt clip. So I can work my... Right ahead. Loudspeaker. Hey, you see, uh, where's Wes? What's going on right here? How are you guys on that too? I don't see Wes. Oh, because some of those Cheerios got shit See the guy with the gun? And they're not liking it. See the man with the gun? Yeah, see the man with the gun? That's why I'm outside the state. Wanna bet? Armed force being used against peaceful people. Armed force using being used against the poor. Injustice alert. Tourists, please look up Law of the Splintered Paddle. Law of the Splintered Paddle. Look that up. It's part of the Hawaii Constitution. It protects people lying by the side of the road. It's a law that's still in force. The emblem is on the badges of all Honolulu Police Department people. Law of the Splintered Paddle. Look that up. Kanawai Mamalahoe is being violated here. They can't hear you, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They cannot. I was just sitting down there. They can't yeah. hear you. Oh. That bone yeah. is too low. Yeah, I, I got to get a better I was sitting at that third bench. I could check them back. I couldn't hear what the fuck you were saying. Well, I got to get a... If you got some Thank good you. information, you need to Yeah, I, got, I, need a bit, I need a bigger bullhorn, but, yeah. you know, they... This raid is being led by Trish Morikawa coordinator of Mayor Carlisle's Office of Housing. Nobody can hear you except the cops. Good. They need to know the kind of why he's carrying our property around like a stone teddy bear. Hey, who are these guys in the orange? They're cops Maybe too? On the ground? No, they're a uh, city department. It wasn't bad. Uh, uh, they were just no they're they're doing a job for the cops. They work with the police. They yeah, cannot they, arrest they, always come, they can't arrest, but they've ordered a Look, I'm able to play with other people's property right now. No. He, he's just staying in there playing with it like a so. Trish Morikawa is a deputy prosecutor under Mayor Carlisle when he was chief prosecutor. What are they here to do? What are they here for? 
to hassle people, take this stuff. Why did they raise the They'll ask me to leave. Notice, uh, where's Wes? Wes has come the last two raids. is allowing DFM agents to willfully break the law when HPD is refusing to uphold the law. He's gone through all those people We have. That's the point. It doesn't matter. just joined us. We're at uh, Thomas Square, third grade in three days. Day 200 of the uh, Occupy, Deoccupy Honolulu encampment. Uh, I'm where I'm live streaming with a camera on my belt clip, so it's kind of shaky. Sorry about that. People that People in Orange are city crews, Orange and Green are city crews, uh, Department of Facilities, it is running. I know how to Management, drive one. and uh, Parks, uh, Department of Parks. You're not going to interfere with an HPD operation that's criminal? Is that, is that all I said? What's the For him to be able to take Huh? That wasn't out for him to be able to take. Hey Billy, you were sitting Gonna get in here. They they're ready to leave. We always like to wish them uh, farewell. We're we're really glad to see you guys leave. My understanding is you got a tag and it's got to be stored continuously. Oh, okay. So you guys are gonna go to 711. Yeah. And then after 7-Eleven, you guys are going to... Yeah, I'm Yeah. Okay, get him. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you at the time. You're not going to answer questions about the raid? What? You have to tag it under the law. You have to tag it and then... The uh, crews are gonna go to their. What they do is they go on to, uh, to a number of places. They get this part. They'll go to another place. I think from the uh, probably. Um, Get all the uh, homeless encampments. You want to explain to me why you let them throw private property in the back of the garbage truck? Huh? You want to do your fucking job for a change? You know damn well that wasn't passed. You were throwing an uh, untagged no, property into the trash. Get to my fucking not question. even seizing it un to be reclaimed. No! You are a fucking idiot! You're allowing people to throw private property in the back of a garbage truck! Do not walk away from me! I want your supervisor down here now! No! No! They are staying! They are criminals! I want these men arrested! Where is your supervisor? Bring him down here now! Are you refusing me? No. Then where is he? Where'd he go, guys? Where'd he go? I didn't see where. Bullshit! You like stealing shit? Destroying yeah. private property? You know damn well it wasn't tagged. Yeah. And why are you guys letting them do it? That's the question. They've done it 20, 22 times before. Don't ignore me. 
I want a police supervisor and I want their supervisor here now. I'm trying to get a shot of the uh, envelope. The police envelope has a uh, law of the spinner that has the spinner paddle envelope. Okay, okay. Which shows uh, the police supervisor here are supposed to uphold the law of the spinner paddle, and they haven't. Apparently, that is standard procedure, and that is their instruction. So we will have to. Uh, Tag the dogs. They were here yesterday. Tag the uh, material they're using. Are they on their way or what? Are they on their way or what? Who? A police supervisor and their supervisor. No. I'm gonna go. Let's go. I'm gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna follow them over to the uh, to the other corner here. Now, if you're just joining us, uh, they just raided uh, the Occupy Honolulu. That would be raid 21 or 22. I've lost count. The third one in three days. It's now moved over onto the uh, Victoria Street, um, Victoria Street corner, uh, where there is a houseless encampment that sustained many raids. So we'll get some. They're stealing. They're stealing from the poor. The homeless person's cart, uh, the suitcase, and uh, possessions being seized by the office of housing. Department of Facilities Maintenance, City County of uh, Honolulu. So what? What you think? My name was Ben. I don't think. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's trash. I'm here uh, documenting uh, the proceedings. Uh, Hello. 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 Uh, newspaper in that type of stuff. But there should be a food. Plastic uh, that's used uh, to help waterproof the content cases, uh, papers, books, magazines. <laughs> An inventory is a search under the law. HPD bill. Hey, I'm going to back in the middle. Let me try and get a better view here. See what's uh, in this part. being um, searched. Search and then the Constitution of the U.S. Now, of course, there's some question as to whether the Constitution of the U.S. should hold in Hawaii, as many believe, as, as I do, that it's illegally occupied. However, as long as there is a pretense that this is a claim that this is 
part of the U.S., those that hold that view must uh, follow those laws. Anybody forgot their sunglasses? 
You should tag it. Yeah, it should this be. Thing. Thing. <laughs> Not going to throw them out like everything else. A shocking time. You know damn well that time is Okay, now the people... Without possessions, without the food and clothing that was taken. Now we're about 35 minutes in, that's about as long as one of these raids take. So in a, in a day, in a work day, you can um, take, uh, hit most of the encampments uh, in Honolulu. The stuff is uh, being thrown out. Uh, some of the stuff that gets, the ones that get put in bins, I don't know if you can see it here, it's on the National Crane Truck. Uh, is subject to reclamation. Um, you have to call a number, make an appointment with one of the people, uh, get out to Halava, show um, proof of ownership, credit card receipts. That's what's required to get a tent back. I told them I wanted a fucking police supervisor down here, and they're just walking away without calling. Wow, Andy, I'm so surprised. Oh, here. No, Tell you'll... Tell it to the camera. Tell it to the camera. <laughs> so, I requested a police supervisor because I called the state police and they were refusing to come down because they're incomplete here. You can, uh, so tune in to Ustream, the Pineapple Glitch, the Pineapple Glitch, uh, for this interview that's so going on here. I requested here. from that officer be You'll down. notice that uh, After they're done, nothing they're else in the park the uh, was the tagged, park. including uh, these so dog park uh, point, stuff that was here yesterday. Mayor Carlisle is a pawn of the rich. Eat. He's not all that rich himself, so even though he would be rich uh, exactly in the go. perspective of but as you can most see, of our there is no after I repeatedly points of view. Speaking of theft, uh, we're right across the street from the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which is uh, the former estate of Anna Rice Cook, of Castle and Cook, the first uh, of the five great land barons who profited off the theft of Hawaiian land. And right now, just to give you a perspective, I'm walking down uh, South Baratania Street um, toward the Occupy Encampment. This is day 200 of the encampment, the longest running uh, Occupy Encampment, continuous Occupy Encampment in the entire Occupy movement worldwide. Police came and seized some freedom furniture, so there's a call out for more freedom furniture, chairs, um, and that sort of thing that are required um, for general assemblies, uh, meetings, and that sort of thing. We generally glean these off the sidewalks of Makiki, where they're allowed a few more days of public service before they're thrown out by city crews. Very interestingly, if you see stored garbage in your neighborhood and you use, you call the city or use their 311 app, it'll take forever, maybe even never, for them to uh, get to it. But, if you're a encampment or if you're a poor person, three in three days. If you're watching live, uh, 
come back uh, this Friday. We have a permitted uh, event that will happen right in this area. Live bands will have a generator, food. Come hang out. What's the reason for it? Well, no real reason. We'll have some uh, artwork by uh, the Occupy artists. We've created uh, some really great artwork. It's just that uh, it doesn't last too long there, here. And you can see uh, the last of the trucks moving out. They didn't use the backhoe today, but uh, it certainly was here. So I'm going to be signing out. Thanks much for uh, joining us.